I just like this. Hey, yo, what's good? I'm Bob. Welcome back to our sneakers. If you guys are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure to give the video a thumbs up because today I will be telling you guys how I copped a Gucci bag for 50% off. Before I get into the video, I do want to say that my mask is on sale on my website on rsneakers.bigcartel.com. If you guys want to go ahead and check that out, go ahead and go to the website, cop it if you can. If you do cop it, it does come with a piece of merch of mine as well. Anyways, moving on to the video. I know I've done something like this before. I talked about how you can get designer stuff for cheaper, and it's pretty much along the same lines. But the reason I want to make this video is because this bag right here has been getting a lot of attention. Attention, not only just in like the sneaker culture and the fashion culture it has been getting a lot of attention in my area such as like in Tallahassee like people have seen me wearing it and they think it's like really nice and I know a lot of hype because people like to call them are wearing these bags nowadays like I saw somebody coming to the barbershop yesterday with a supreme one but honestly those were really small and they probably paid resale for it and if they didn't they probably paid retail which is like 60 bucks and resells like a hundred for a couple hundred more dollars he could have got this bag right here this is actually a Gucci bag that I got for 50% off which you guys can get the same price as well and my trick to getting designed for cheap is to get it from the outlet stores. I know it's something so simple, like not everybody knows about it. Literally, all you have to do is go to the outlet stores and see what they have on shelves. And if they have it there, it is literally 50% off from what it was retail price. And the reason for that being is because it is from previous seasons. This one actually sat for a couple seasons and I went during spring break and I really wanted this bag because I was tired of the Kith one. It was just too tight, it was too small. I couldn't really fit a lot of stuff in it. Plus I've always wanted the Gucci one. So I was like, you know what? I might as well just go to the store right now and just cop it because the deal was too good. I I literally bought this for less than $500. This bag after tax at full price would have been around $1,000. I bought it for even less. I think I bought it for like $4.69. And the same thing goes for my Gucci glasses. I bought those from the same outlet store for like around $170. So I pretty much got $340 glasses for half off, which you guys can do the same thing. All you gotta do is find an outlet store near you, which is not gonna be easy for everybody because not everybody lives in really popular locations. Like where I live down in South Florida, South Florida is really popular. So they're obviously gonna have an outlet store there. They're not gonna have one in Tallahassee. They don't even have a Gucci store here, like a regular one. So I'm pretty sure they're not even gonna have an outlet store. So you pretty much just gotta go on Google and type in Gucci outlet stores and then click the link that shows you where all the stores are located and it'll tell you if it's an outlet or not. And that's pretty much it for this video. I know it was a really quick video, but it was a good tip that I know a lot of you guys can use. I just figured this would be a good video for you guys to use to your advantage because I know a lot of people have been wanting to rock these bags. You don't have to spend a thousand dollars on a bag like this. And as a matter of fact, when I bought this bag, they told me to come back next month, which is this month is April now. And they told me that they're going to be having a new collection, which I might buy another one if it is nice, or I might just keep this one if i do buy another one which means that it is from newer seasons then i'll probably either keep this one or use it for different occasions probably use it for the beach and the other one just for the street i honestly just love this one because you do have the gucci monogram all the way throughout the bag then you have this leather which i'm not a huge fan of the leather because this leather is very crackly i would have liked it to be a better leather but there's such little leather on them that it really doesn't bother me that much like you have some right here on the strap right here on the zipper and then right here in the front where it says gucci embossed into it and another thing when you're buying designer brands you are paying for high quality which the zippers on these are really good i open and close them all day every single day and they have have not broken they have not seemed to get stuck on anything at all so when you buy a bag like this you are paying for the quality as well so don't think that you're gonna be wasting money buying a bag like this from the last time that I was at the store they do have this one still and they also have like some kind of leather one it is really stiff but you can't really see the Gucci pattern so that's one reason I did not buy it plus this one's flimsy and it won't get scratched usually you're gonna be wearing this all the time and if you pass by something the leather's gonna get scratched and that mark is gonna be really hard to get off so I personally prefer this one over the other one and when I go back again in a few weeks South Florida I'm gonna go back to the outlet store and make a little video showing you guys what bags they have in there so you guys can possibly go to your nearest Gucci outlet and buy a bag that you guys like anyways that's it for today's video today's fan of the day does go to Will Wang if you want to be a fan of the day all you gotta do is subscribe to this channel turn your notifications on and also be one of the first people to comment on my latest video anyways thank you guys for watching if you guys did enjoy make sure to smash the thumbs up button also don't forget to subscribe like I said we are trying to reach 30,000 subscribers by April 22nd which is my 21st birthday and right now we are at 27,000 which you guys made it happen within a couple days into April which is really dope like i was so excited when i saw that number this morning thank you guys so much anyways guys it's been fun make sure you guys keep grinding it's your boy i think you're signing out